Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. So, AEW Full Gear was last night. It was a fun show. It really was. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. Uh, I, I did watch the buy-in, however, because that was on YouTube and that was kind of you know free for everybody to watch. We're not going to get into the buy-in, but I did watch the buy-in. But we're going to get into the main show. Um, Jungle Boy defeated Luchasaurus in a steel cage match. I really liked it. I thought it was a good story. I think it's still a really good story. Um, I think having Jungle Boy go over was the right call. Uh, it, it, it was a good, good story. There's no doubt in my mind. It was a very good story. Sorry, just trying to adjust the mic here. Um... The the second match on the card was the trios tag title match. I'm fine with that. We got the elite back, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. I love those guys. I love Kenny. I love the Young Bucks. Um, Death Triangle did retain. And at first I was like, wait a minute, what? You know, why are we doing that? But then it found out we get a best of seven series and that was match one. I'm here for that. Let's go. I mean, seriously, best of seven and that's match one? Match one? Absolutely, I love it. That was a it was a banger of a match. Uh, again, Death Triangle retained. I think at the end of this though, I, I really do think like this is gonna go to a three and three series, which I'm fine with, totally fine with. And then we're gonna get um, yeah, I think then we're gonna get the Elite as champs, and I think Pack will turn heel. At, well, Pack's already heel, but he'll turn on the Lucha Bros. Uh, third match on the card, Jade Cargill versus Nyla Rose for the TBS Championship. I absolutely love Jade Cargill. She's so good. Like, legit, she's so good. Um, she... It, it was a fight. It was finally a fight. Like, I've been waiting for somebody to step up and say, I'm going to put it to you. I'm going to fight you. And Nyla Rose did that. Um, uh, but again, guys, I mean, come on, Jade Cargill retained. She's like 70 something. And like she's won a lot. Of, she's won all of her matches so far. Uh, I did. N okay. Uh, I'm going to say something like, okay. They came out to, um, Nyla Rose rode out in Eddie Guerrero's low rider. And I'm not a fan of that, but I'm okay with it. Like I, I get it. Like. Your manager's Vicky. She was married to Eddie. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Jericho. Chris Jericho, the Ring of Honor World Champion. He defeated Brian Danielson, Claudio Castioli, and Sammy Guevara. A little bit of tension there between Sammy and, and, and Chris in the match. And I like that. I like when Sammy Guevara shows us, hey, I'm not a pushover. Right? Like, I'm not going to just sit there and let you beat me up. I'm not a pushover. I like that. Uh, from Sammy, and uh, he he didn't let Chris push him around. Chris Jericho did retain, which I Jericho retained because one, what he's doing right now, the work he's doing is really good, and two, they're trying to get a TV deal, and by doing Jericho as champion, that gets them the TV deal. So it makes sense that he would retain the title until the TV deal. And then we're going to probably get Daniel Garcia and Chris Jericho for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And then it's probably going to go on Daniel Garcia. I don't see it going on Sammy Guevara. But I love Sammy. Absolutely love Sammy Guevara. His ring style is so good. He just needs to uh, grow up. Grow up a little bit. Now... I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Soraya. Soraya, however you say her name. I, I think it's Soraya. Beating Britt Baker. Tony Khan. What? What? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Really, I truly don't. Like, what? You have Soraya in her first match in five years. And you have her beat Britt, Britt Baker? 
who, by the way, has carried this women's division in AEW for the better part of three years. Like, what? What? That was so stupid. Look, 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 look. There's going to be a lot of people that say, oh, no, it was the right call. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was not the right call for Soraya to go over. Did y'all watch the match? Because she looked horrible. The whole match. Britt Baker had to carry her in the match. Like, Britt was the one saying, hey, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Soraya had no clue. No clue. I love Soraya. I am so glad that she's back. And maybe in her next match, maybe that was just ring rust. And I believe it was. And I hope that's all it was, was ring rust. But you don't have her go over in her first match back in five years. That made Britt look really bad. Like, terrible. I don't... I, it, it wouldn't have mattered if it was Britt Baker or the lowest person on the card. You're not putting... You don't put Soraya over like that. The way she looked in her first match in five years. Again, I am a fan of Soraya. I've been a fan of her since her days in WWE as Paige. But she didn't need to go over last night. There was no need for it. Okay, I get it. It's her big return match. Yeah. She looked horrible. It was bad. Anybody that tells you Soraya looked good last night, you're a liar. You didn't watch the match. Or, you watched the match, but you really just don't want to admit that Soraya didn't look good. I'll admit it. She didn't look good. I wanted her to. I really wanted her to, but she didn't look good at all. And that's not all her fault, but like, it's Tony Khan's fault that he put her over. What? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I love Soraya. I hope she, I hope her next match is better. I'm, I don't know when her next match is. I don't know what her schedule is like of when she's allowed to fight and stuff like that. Um, if it's going to be periodically or, or, or on a consistent basis. But when she does have her next fight, I want her to be ready. Because if she's ready and she looks bad, then that's a bad, bad, bad sign. This isn't terrible that she looked bad in her first match back. But the reason that I'm ranting and the reason that I'm mad and the reason that a lot of wrestling fans are mad is that Tony Khan put her over Britt Baker her first match back and she didn't look good. If she had looked good, I wouldn't care. Okay, look, y'all seen her train. Y'all saw, y'all saw all the work she put in. She looked good. Great. Awesome. Put her over. I don't care. But she didn't look good. At all. Britt Baker carried her in that match. And her brother made a ringside with all this. It's a race, it's a race, it's a race. I don't care. You don't put her over. Now next match. <laughs> uh, the no DQ tag match with Sting and Darby. Against Jay Lethal and freaking Jeff Jarrett. Listen. I like Sting. I like I love Darby Allen. I think Darby Allen's great talent. I like Jay Lethal. I don't care anything at all. There is not a part of my body that cares anything at all about Jeff Jarrett. Double J, whatever. I don't care. I don't like him. I think he's annoying. He's not that good of a wrestler. Oh, and by the way, he's like a He's like, what, 60-something years old? And he wasn't good back in his prime days? So why would I care now to watch him? That was probably the, the, the worst match of the, on, the, on the card. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. That was probably the worst match on the card. Um, no, it was. It definitely was. It was the worst match on the card. The worst match on the card. Uh, Sting and Darby won, which I'm fine with. You know, I, I, I like Darby Allen. He needed a win, and stings periodically in AEW, so when he comes in and gets a win, I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. I'm okay with it. I got you. I'm okay with it, but that match did not need to have Jeff Jarrett involved, and honestly, I would have rather them just do Darby versus Jay Lethal, and if you wanted to have Jeff Jarrett and Sting in the, you know, at ringside, okay, but there was no reason at all for them to put... Um, 
Sting and Jerry in that match. I mean, I like, I love Sting. I'm a fan of Sting. I, I wish I got to see Sting in his prime, and I'm glad I can go back on Peacock and watch some of his stuff in WCW, but like, Jeff Jarrett, it didn't, I don't, I, I don't care. I didn't care, I, I didn't care when he refereed the freaking match at SummerSlam. By the way, you refereed a match at SummerSlam and now you're in AEW. Like, pick a side. Like, which company are you going to work for? WWE, AEW, or the Jim Crocker Promotions? Because you did have a match in that as well when you went and, uh, yeah. Pick a side, Jeff. Seriously. Like, you, you waste a lot of fans' time. And you take time away from younger talent, which really just, it, it, it ticks me off, but. Nonetheless, okay. Samoa Joe beat Hobbs and Wardlow for the TNA, I'm sorry, TNT Championship. Sorry, TNA. Um, I personally would rather have had, if you're going to take the title off of Wardlow, I'd rather have been Hobbs and he pinned Samoa Joe because Samoa Joe is not going to get hurt from that because he's the Ring of Honor TV champion. But... I mean, I guess that's the safest way you could do it without making anybody look bad. Have Samojo pin Hobbs, which is what happened. I would have rather seen Hobbs pin Samojo, but and keep Wardlow out of it. And I'm glad that they did keep Wardlow out of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh. It's a fun match. It was a cool match. I mean, Wardlow did some things that I didn't know that he could do, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, it just it doesn't sit well with me right now because I still think if you wanted to take the title off Wardlow, put it on Hobbs. I think this is where they're going to go with Wardlow, though, is you take him and you put him in the AEW World Championship picture and you work a little bit with that and you see kind of where... He can go, you know. Anyway, um, the Acclaim beat Swerve in our glory, and Keith Lee walked out on Swerve Strickland. Swerve Strickland's officially a freaking heel, guys, and I love it. Love it. I love Swerve Strickland being a heel. Um, Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, the Acclaimed, love them. One of my favorite tag teams to watch right now. I mean... So, let's go through this list. So, we have the Usos, who I love. We have FTR, who I'm a massive fan of. Uh, Right now, I'd say the Brawling Brutes are in that list. And then the Acclaimed. Uh, And the Young Bucks. But, again, the Young Bucks right now are in the trios. So, it doesn't technically... You know... they're They're with Kenny. So, they're not the Young Bucks. They're the Elite. But they're still the young buds. So they're one of my favorites. But yeah. And I would say the Motor City Machine Guns right now are one of my favorites to watch um, as well. Just their in ring work. But yeah, right now, as far as star power, I'd say it's the Acclaimed and then the Usos. Uh, FTR is in there. And Brawling Brutes, I love. Uh, I mean, they did have the added advantage of Sheamus, but the Usos have Roman Reigns. So, I mean, so I guess if we're going on pure tag team, like standard, they don't tag with anybody else uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. Acclaimed, FTR, Usos, Motor City Machine Guns, Brawling Brutes, because right now they're not tagging with Sheamus, but they are uh, Survivor Series. So it's, yeah. Um... The main event, <laughs> the greatest trick the devil ever pulled is proving, is, is convincing everyone he doesn't exist. That's right. I said it. MJF, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, is your AEW World Champion. I absolutely love this move. It was great. It was great. And we got a regal heel turn. Oh, dude, Tony Khan, you, I mean, you overbooked that for sure. I mean, two ref bumps and and the regal heel turn, you know. But, 
Holy crap, Maxwell Jacob Friedman is your AEW World Champion. I didn't stutter. MJF, who by the way, in my opinion, when he says I'm better than you and you know it, he is better than half that roster. He's better than most of the guys in WWE. He's better than all of Impact. He's better than all of He's better than most of New Japan. He's not better than all of Impact or all of New Japan, but most of them. But he won last night, and he said going in, I'm not going to use the brass ring. I won't use the dynamite, the, the, the dynamite ring. He didn't. He didn't use it. Guess what he did? Regal threw him the brass knuckles, and he used those. Yes, sir. Oh, I loved it. It was great. Absolutely great. Right call, by the way. It's time for MJF to be world champion. He should have been world champion a while ago. But... Absolutely great. The, the match was good. It was really good. Um, but you could tell that MJF and, and John Moxley, their styles, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't fit together. Like they're not. Like they were doing this. Like they were clashing, and usually you want just symmetry, you know, like this. But hey, it's okay. MJF is world champion. I'm happy about it. Let's go. Freaking go. Uh, and then I finally, uh, by the way, Tony Khan, you need to learn how to shut up at press conferences, buddy. Because you said something last night that I don't think you meant to say, but you said it anyway. Also, you looked really freaking high. Like, you were, like, Tony, uh, come on, buddy, come, come on. Um, so first of all, <laughs> MJF he interrupted the press conference to start, and I loved that. He told Tony Khan, they don't pay to see you, they pay to see me, and that's true. We don't care to see Tony Khan. Uh, we care to see MJF right now. So, hey, you're right, MJF. I paid to see you, buddy. Um, and he told the, he, I mean, he just, and he, he mouthed off, he, he talked a bunch of crap. And then as he walked out, he said, thank you, fuck you. To the media, it was great. By the way, I'm part of that. Uh, the the media that, that that talks about you. So uh, watch what you say, Max. Just watch what you say. I'm kidding, buddy. Uh, nothing but respect for you. Uh, love your style. Love the uh, the the mic work that you do. Love everything about what you're doing right now. And keep it up. Um, Tony Khan. He dodged. A lot of questions, including, like, uh, about the future of, like, if they're going to go to a streaming service or whatever. Like, he was dodging stuff, which I, I get it, but, like, come on, dude. You know that's going to be something that we ask, so, like, you need to just say, hey, yes, or hey, no, not right now, or hey, no comment. Just no comment. That's all you had to do. But you, like, answered the question, but didn't answer the, like, you dodged it. Um, Adam Cole and Hangman, Adam Page are doing good, according to Tony Khan. He, they, he was asked about their updates, and, uh, yeah. So, it, it seems like Adam Cole and Hangman, I, I don't know when they're coming back, but eventually they are, and I'm definitely looking forward to when they do come back. I love... Adam Cole, I love Adam Page, so yeah. And Tony seemed really optimistic about about them coming back, so I'm very excited for that. Um, Ring of Honor TV. There's a chance we get we get a TV uh, show, weekly TV show. That's what Tony Khan wants. Tony Khan wants a weekly show for Ring of Honor. Um, he wants to work with Warner Brothers Discovery to do it, so hopefully we do get something there with, with Ring of Honor, uh, and we kind of get that, that talent off of AEW, because even though I like seeing the Ring of Honor talent on AEW from time to time, um, it seems to take away from, like, the, the, the talent that's, like, the AEW champions and the AEW workers, not just the Ring of Honor workers, and it seems to take away from them, especially with Chris Jericho being, like, the champion of Ring of Honor, and him being on Dynamite Weekly, I, I think that's what they're going to do. Is they're going to get a weekly show for Ring of Honor and then take the title off Jericho, put Jericho back on Dynamite, 
and let Daniel Garcia go down to Ring of Honor. In my opinion. In my opinion. Okay. Okay. We have to talk about it. Tony Khan said that he has given Thunder Rosa several opportunities to come back and defend the championship. I have a question. Is she not injured? Because if she's not injured, then why is Jamie Hayter... I forgot to cover Jamie, didn't I? Jamie Hayter won the uh, AEW Interim Women's Championship last night. I loved it. I love Jamie Hayter. So, yeah. And she beat Tony Storm. And I like Tony Storm, but... It was time for a new champion, and, 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 you know, so, yeah. Okay. But back to this. What did Tony Khan mean? I've given her opportunities to come back and defend the title. Because the last I heard, she was injured. So, if she's injured, then why are you giving her opportunities to come back and defend the title if she's injured? But I don't think she's injured. Has she been lying to us? Because Tony Storm even said a couple of days ago, if she doesn't come back soon, she should be stripped of the title. Hey, guess what? She should be stripped of the title right now. Right now. If she's not injured, then there's no reason for her to be champion. If she doesn't want to work, you strip her of the title. Right? Like, like if... If I'm Tony Khan and I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, okay. Right here. If I'm Tony Khan and I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, okay. So we have this this champion who we absolutely, uh, we love her, right? And, and the fans do too. The, the, don't get me wrong. I, I, I like her. But if she's not injured, why is she champion? That's, I, I don't I don't understand why she would be a champion. I, I guess like you're 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 moving towards getting her off the title. I don't I don't know. I don't I, I don't know, but I know this. If she's not injured, strip her, please, and, and make Jamie Hayter the AEW women's champion because that's what the girl deserves. Jamie Hayter has worked her butt off and she deserves to be the AEW Women's champion, not AEW interim women's champion. Yeah. I don't like. I don't care for for any of that crap. Uh, I really don't. Dutton, Dutton, at all. Bother me. Um, it could. It really could. Um, but it doesn't. Like, if... If you don't have Thunder Rosa and she doesn't want to work, then you strip her of the championship. Then you put it on Jamie Hayter, turn her into the AEW Women's Champion... And then you can have something with her and Britt Baker, her and Soraya, when Soraya's ready. She's not ready right now. I want to say this, and I, and I don't mean any disrespect to Tony Khan at all. I, I like Tony Khan. But you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea. Listen, you're a fan. I get it. I'm a fan. Right, I, I love your product, uh, and you're a fan of wrestling, right? You're a wrestling fan. We're all wrestling fans, right? The problem is, I'm not in charge of one of the companies. You are. You are a wrestling fan that you love. You you book the shows like a fan would, and I appreciate that, right? Triple H does the same thing in WWE. Triple H does the exact same thing. He books the shows the way the fans would want to see them, and I love that. But I have a question for you. I have a quick question for you, Tony Khan. Because you're not rich. Your daddy's rich, okay? Your daddy's the one that owns the Jaguars, not you. Everybody gives you credit, but your daddy owns the Jaguars, okay? He probably gave you the money to start up AEW, let's be honest. So 
So my question for you, Tony Khan. Like, do you not like the media? Like, I, I, I get it if you don't like us. Like, I, I understand if you don't like media. I, I get that. Like, a lot of people don't like the media. No promoter likes the media. No wrestler likes the media. Sometimes media members or people that do content, i.e. me, I do content, we don't like the media sometimes. Like, we, we don't want to go through our, our comments and, and see all the cr- stuff, you know, p- put up about us. But guess what? We have to do it. And guess what? If we say something and it's wrong, we have to correct ourselves. We have to say, oh, well, I shouldn't have said that. Or, you know, like, uh, we're not allowed to just skip stuff or, or pretend that we don't know. Because you do know. But it's like you don't want to tell anybody. I, I understand that. But it doesn't make sense to me. Because you're a promoter. Your job is to promote, right? That's what a promoter does. They promote. You book the shows as well, but you promote the shows. And you do a good job of that on Twitter. You do. On Twitter. But you have to answer to the media, buddy. If it, okay, let's let's put it in a p- p- perspective. If Jungle Boy Jack Perry, Thunder, uh, uh, Tony, uh, Jamie Hayter, my bad, uh, the acclaimed, Soraya, MJF, if they have to talk to the media, John Moxley, if they have to talk to the media, you do too, Tony Khan. You don't have a choice, Tony Khan. Like I don't understand. I I, I don't get it. I I don't understand that that idea that you think you don't have to talk to the media. You don't have a clue, do you? Like you're a fan, right? When MJF said you're a mark, he was right, because that's all you are. You're a fan. You have no idea what you're doing. You have a billion dollar company with million dollar gates, and you don't know what you're doing. You have a zero, like, this, see this right here? You see this right here? You see this right here? That's what you got. You got zero. You got zero clue of what you're doing. You have no idea at all. Like, I don't understand how you can own a company and have no idea how to handle the media. Like, what? And by the way, you, what was that you were drinking last night? Was it, was it beer? Like, what were you drinking last night? Were you high? Like, because your eyes was like gazed over like you looked high. Now, it could be tired. I get that. I was tired too. I watched uh, five hours, five and a half hours of wrestling. Then I stayed up an hour for your press conference when you wouldn't shut up. Then I woke up at like... 8 o'clock and then started going through my notes t- t- to do this video so I get tired buddy and I went to bed at like 2 so I get tired I get it if you were tired I understand that but like you don't have a clue you have no idea what you're doing do you it's okay to admit it it's okay to admit you're you have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're doing. But you need to figure it out because I'm tired of it. The fans are tired of it. We want answers, Tony Khan. We don't want You're like, oh yeah, well this is working for us in the past. Yeah, the bleacher report fifty dollars a pay per view. Yeah, it's working for you because you you're filling your pockets because people are paying it. Give us something like a subscription. Then you get a monthly payment from us. For what? Five pay-per-views a year? Right? And put Dynamite content on that subscription. Then we can go back and watch Dynamite. Similar to what WWE does with, with their product. They have... Oh, my way, you can put the Ring of Honor archives on there as well. So we can go back and watch Ring of Honor stuff. Uh, you can see if New Japan wants you to put their stuff on there. and you can. There's a way to make content in 2022. And it's, it's not the way you're doing it. It's making you money... Because people are paying the $50 a month for it. But there are easier, better ways to make content. Because there are some people 
they aren't going to pay the $50. Like, for example, I'm not going to get the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. It's just not going to happen. Why? Because, well, one, not that interested in Ring of Honor, to be honest with you. Also, it's a lot of money, and I'd rather save that money up for other shows that AEW puts on. But if you gave a subscription service, then I wouldn't have to worry about that, would I? But, yeah, Tony Khan, you are a mark. It's fine, you know, we're all marks, but you're like the biggest mark. You need to figure it out, buddy, because uh, right now, in 2022... We want answers, and you're not giving it to us, and that's going to make a lot of people mad. I'm not mad at you, because I get it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was the AEW Full Gear Result Review. Main show only, and then the obvious press conference stuff that we talked about. I don't think Paige should have went over. Or, I'm sorry. I don't think Soraya should have went over. I don't think that... Samoa Joe should have went over. I don't think that Thunder Rosa is injured, and if she isn't injured, she shouldn't be champion. Plain and simple, should not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this very slowly. Thunder Rosa should not be the champion if she's not injured and she just doesn't want to work. She should not be the champion. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that originally she wasn't injured. I, I'm not saying that at all. I would never say that about any talent. But the way Tony Khan made it sound is, she's not injured. So if she's not injured anymore, she should be at work, right? But maybe there's contractual things. I don't know. Um, there, there could be a deeper story to this. But at the same time, figure it out, turning on. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye.